Hello, it's Greg Otten here with MaritimeGardening.com and today I'm going to talk about onions. Whether you should try to plant onion seeds or onion sets. Stay with me. Hello, I'm here by the sea. Good morning, it's April 3rd here in uh, beautiful spring Nova Scotia and today I'm going to find some squash in my tulip garden. So anyone that uh, plants onions, and I recommend planting onions for a, a number of reasons, which I can talk about today. Um, when you go to buy them in the spring, you're confronted with the decision. Do I buy onion sets or onion seeds? What are onion seeds? Well, they're just packs of seeds. Or onion sets, which are these sort of uh, mesh bags of small baby onions, very, very small onions, maybe the size of my, my like this, this part of my pinky sort of thing. Um, uh, either one of those uh, can be planted in the spring, uh, but the difference is that um, onion sets are argued to be easier to grow and that uh, they're also faster and quicker and more convenient. They're basically onions that have been, onion sets, or onions that have been grown a little bit and then pulled out of the ground and put into a dormant state and then you plant them and they, can, they, they pick up where they left off and continue to grow and uh, they're supposed to become onions a lot quicker and so on. Um, the other option is onion seeds, where you buy a bag of seeds. And you put the seeds in the ground <coughs> and they turn into onions eventually. And the difference is that onion seeds are much cheaper um, for buck ninety-nine or, or two ninety-nine, depending on the variety or brand you buy. Um, you can get a hundred seeds, whereas onion sets, uh, it's going to cost uh, double or triple that for the same amount of onions. Um, and the, the perception is that the seeds are so much harder to grow. Well, uh, from my garden, um, I did both this year for the first time. I've never planted seeds before because I just thought that they were... Um, I, I listened to the literature, and it, which suggests that the uh, sets are just easier. But I, I got some seeds and I said... One of my onions went to seed last year, so I had all these seeds, so I said, well, why not, right? Um, so I, I planted some seeds as well as onion sets this year. Um, one great thing about onions, unlike other plants in your garden, is that they don't create a big sun blocking foliage, right? They just create spikes, right? These things go up. So they don't cause a lot of shade. So you can plant them in with just about anything. I've read different companion planting guides, plant them with this, plant them with that. Um, I don't really know about that. It seems to me that you can plant them with anything. <laughs> they seem to do just fine because they tend to have different requirements. Uh, than other plants in your garden. I mean, they have the requirements of alliums. So uh, I plant them anywhere I want to plant them. I just plant them in between rows. I usually put my, whatever I'm planting, um, if it's got any sort of real foliage, I plant them two hand spans apart. Uh, something with not too much foliage, I might plant them one hand span apart. I just use my hand spans as a guide because it's simple measurements, about seven, eight inches. Uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but it's a good, uh, rule of thumb for planting for me. So you can plant onions anywhere. So if you're not planting them in your garden, they're kind of an ideal companion plant for anything. Just the same way I, if you've been watching my videos, I plant garlic in with a lot of things because it's the same thing. It's got these spikes. They're not a shade generating plant, right? And they don't seem to take that much out of the soil. Uh, these aren't, you know, champion uh, blue ribbon onions, but they're onions nonetheless. Um, so these two are from my onion seeds. And this is uh, the end of August. Um, so it's pretty much the end of the, to some extent, the end of the growing season, although things continue to grow here for a while. And these onions aren't completely ready because they still have green in their stalks. So these are my onion, um, onion seed plants. And they've turned out pretty, wait a second, no. That's a set, this is a seed. These are my onion seed plants. And they're still growing. You see there's a lot of green so they're really not ready to be harvested yet. Um, I just harvested them for the sake of today's uh, episode. And these are from onion sets, and they're, the stocks have no life in them. They're, they're all laid down, so they're ready to be harvested. So they're not going to get much bigger, really. And you can tell that 
uh, I could do a census of my entire garden, but uh, I found that the onion sets are a little bit bigger than the onion seeds at this point in the year, but the um, the onion seeds are still they're still growing, right? There's still life in the stalks, so they're going to get bigger, right? Um, so the difference is that you have to plant the onion seeds as soon as the soil can be worked. I plant them mine the first week of April, um, and they seem to take forever to grow. And it doesn't look like you're getting any results, but eventually you'll see these fine little spikes come up, and they start growing. Uh, the difference is, I would say, a different perception in, in immediate gratification. Um, the sets start growing quickly, and it looks like something's happening, and you feel good as a gardener, and you're getting results. Whereas the seeds, it takes a while for them to germinate, and even after they've germinated, they're tiny, thin, almost look like grass coming up out of the ground. It doesn't look like much. Um, but the seed has an advantage in the sense that it did, like, you know, with the set, it starts growing somewhere else, some farm somewhere, and then they're pulled out of the ground, and they have to go to sleep, and they have to wake up again and reacclimatize themselves to your soil and your conditions and so on. So the onion set is, is kind of set back, uh, whereas the onion seed lives its entire life in your soil, and some of them do better than others because they're ha some are happier than others in, in your soil. Um, so the onion seeds take more patience in the sense that it takes a lot longer for there to be the appearance that they're growing. I've also noticed, um, this is based on my experience, is that the onion sets um, can't be planted out quite as early. If it's really, really cold, uh, I like to wait a bit longer. I've, I've found that onion sets fail if it's too cold. I'm here in Nova Scotia, Canada, where it can, the springs can be uh, quite cool. Sometimes we have very late winters that hang around for a while. Um, a seed, on the other hand, they're pretty tough, depending on the variety of onion. If, you, if you're choosing an onion that grows in India or some part of the southern United States or wherever, uh, maybe that's an onion that really likes heat. But there's lots of varieties that uh, are fine in uh, Canada or Russia or whatever, they just don't mind the cold. So the good thing about putting the seed out is if it's not cold enough for that seed to germinate, it's just going to wait. It's not going to die from that cold. It's just going to wait for the conditions to be right for it to germinate. So you don't have to plant it twice. You get the soil ready, you put the seeds in, maybe you put a little bit of mulch over that, and you just wait. Right? But it does take some time and take some patience for them to come along. Um, but you can tell from the results here that the, this is just from the ones I just grabbed quickly, they're a different variety. This is a, I think a, a yellow onion or a Spanish onion. There's just sort of shorter, fatter. That's the kind of sets I was able to get. And the seeds are as a more globe shaped. Um, but they're really not that much different in size. The, the sets are a little bit bigger. Um, and I've had bigger onions in different years this year. I didn't put a lot of uh, time or effort into my onions. I just stuck them in the ground and let things happen. But really, there's not much of a difference. Um, they're both doing um, almost equally as well, and the seeds seem to have caught up to the sets. The seeds are so happy to have not been moved around, and that's a general principle I have in gardening. Plants hate being moved around and transplanted as generally. You have to be very careful how you do it. You don't want to upset the, the roots. But what could be more upsetting to a set of roots than growing a baby and then hauling it out of the ground and, and putting it in the fridge and <laughs> right, waiting to be replanted somewhere else. Um, so I, what I'm going to do right now is take you around the garden and just show you where they're growing and how I've got them growing and show you the differences. So um, stay with me here. Alright, so here you can't really see but this is a garden full of kale and Brussels sprouts and, and stuff like that. And sorry for the wind here, I don't have the best, uh, most expensive camera equipment in the world. Uh, pretty low budget here at MaritimeGardening.com, but uh, well, we'll see where things go uh, as the future progresses. Um, so here's a, a garden full of some uh, Scotch curly kale and Brussels sprouts and then some chicory over there. And uh, in between the rows I stuck onions. And uh, we zoom in close here. Um, there's a pick this that's an onion set that grew here I mean the foliage is quite large right now but uh, there you know that, that took a while to happen the, the onions there's another one right here right so 
you might say, well, I mean, how could they grow in those conditions anyway? Well, I mean, these uh, kale and all that sort of stuff, all these plants, they weren't really any size until uh, June, at some point in June is when they were really coming along. Um, so the onions sort of had the most sun and free run of the space in the early growing because they grew a lot faster, especially because they were onion sets. Um, so you can't see, but there's onions all over the place in this garden. And I, I've been, I had about three beds where I had onion sets and I've been eating them for the last uh, month or so. So I've eaten almost all of them. We eat onions all the time in my family. Um, but anyway, there's still a fair amount in this garden here. And, um, you know, they're a decent size. They're not uh, champions by any stretch of the imagination, but they're certainly uh, usable, certainly fine onions. So that's onion sets, and that's how I, I just plant them in between the rows, uh, and they seem to do fine. Now this is another garden here where I've got uh, some beets growing, and uh, I planted some uh, onion seeds in between the rows of the beets. So I had the beets about 14 inches apart, the rows, and in between those rows I put onions. And uh, these were just seeds, and they took forever to germinate and forever to grow and so on, and I probably planted them too close together and I probably should have thinned them a little bit better, but this was just an experiment because I'd never planted seeds before. But I'm very pleased with the, uh, the result. Now they're still growing, and it's only, uh, it's around August 31st I think today, so I've, I've probably got another month of decent growing, and they're um, a decent size already, but see that the, the stems haven't flopped over like my onion sets, which they're pretty much done, right? Um, but these uh, onion seeds, they're still going. Let me zoom in a bit here. Let me get a good angle here. So I got them a little bit close together, but it's a nice onion, right? Different variety. I think they're called white onions. I think something really bland like that. Um, And I, I think I would have got better results if I had thinned them better, of course. But uh, I was busy doing other things, and there's some weeds in here. If I weeded this a little bit better, I'm sure. And despite the mulch, I've got weeds, so what? Who cares? Not worth sweating. Um, but yeah, I mean, I zoom back out here. Again, onion sets. Onion seeds, right? These these were planted way earlier, but probably a month earlier. But I would say in June these ones were way bigger, and they were looked in June. The seeds looked like nothing; they were just like teeny tiny nothing. Whereas these in June looked, you know, like something was happening. Um, so again, it speaks to the point that it takes. Uh, some patience. You have to be patient and just trust that you've got good soil and things are going to come along. But uh, definitely happy with these and I will definitely use seeds next year um, to a much greater extent because for a buck 99 you get a hundred seeds and uh, I really should have gone wholesale in planting these. Here's another place where I had some onion seeds planted very early in the year. And if we go down here You'll see them. Where's my hand? Sorry for the shoddy camera work here, but uh, let's see. Right there. Right? These were planted by seed. Right? I ended up planting zucchini here, but I did put onions in early to start. So that's not a bad looking onion, right? That's a seed. And these were seeds I saved from the previous year. So how do I save onion seeds, you might ask? Well, onions are a biennial plant, and if, uh, if you leave them in the ground for a second year, so if you let it grow and just leave it there and wait till the next year, um, they'll put a flower like this up. And that flower will make these little tiny black onion seeds, and you can save those. Um, so, I mean, last year, uh, how did I get onion seeds? Well, I didn't pick all my onions. I really should have singled out one of the biggest and best onions that grew the best and left it in the ground. 
but really I just picked all my onions and uh, missed some. <laughs> so there were some seeds uh, in the next year, just like this one here. Uh, the next year just one of these spikes came up and made these flowers. Okay, why don't I try planting those? And it worked out just fine. I mean, that's how things work in nature, right? Things grow flowers, they drop the seeds and they grow. So I just mimicked that in the spring, right? I'm just zoom in a little bit so you can see a closer view of what that uh, looks like. Right, that's the flower an onion makes when it's going to seed. Right, so you wait till that's fully flowered and then you just cut it off and hang it upside down somewhere with a bit of airflow that's out of the sun and let it dry. Just leave it there. I, I put them in my gardening shed which has no heat or nothing. I just hang them upside down in my gardening shed and then uh, when uh, spring comes around I uh, shake out the seeds. You just hold it, hold the uh, fl the, flo the floret or the flower over uh, a bowl and just sort of whack it and shake it a bit and all these little black seeds will fall out and you can plant them. Free seeds. I mean yeah we're saving a buck nine nine. What's the big deal? But it's just kind of fun to save your own varieties and you know if you're using uh, heirloom or open pollinated varieties um, and you continue to save seeds from the onions that did the best you're basically cultivating a or developing a variety that really favors the conditions uh, where you're growing your vegetables and over time if you're patient enough uh, you'll develop uh, big healthy onions that just thrive in your soil in your location all right so an episode on onions whether to use seeds or whether to use onion sets and i think you can tell where i'm going with all of this sure buy some onion sets i recommend you buy at least one bag just to get you started because they do grow faster and, and you're going to get onions sooner and you can use them when you're cooking and stop buying onions and you also have the you know the assurance that they're organic and you know they were grown in your conditions and you know you've got greater faith that it's a, a nice uh, healthy product and so on um, but i wouldn't go wholesale on onion sets um, based on my results this year next year i'm going to plant way more seeds um, because they cost very little, buck ninety-nine, you get 100 seeds. Um, you can plant them almost anywhere, um, in with other plants. And uh, the great thing about onions too, if you've got any means uh, to, to engage in cold storage, I mean, my cold storage is literally my garage. I have an unheated garage that's adjacent to my house. It doesn't get below zero in the winter and it tends to stay slightly above zero. Uh, you just dry them out and stick them in a box and use them as you need them. So you really can't plant too many, right? Because you're gonna just be using them uh, you know, all winter long until you run out. So, totally worth planting a lot. If you're using onion sets, that might be a little prohibitive because they cost more. I mean, depending on how frugal you are, I'm extremely frugal if you haven't noticed by watching my videos. Um, but uh, if that's a concern for you, you can use the seeds. And if you're saving your own seeds, one onion is going to give you a thousand seeds, right? So, you know, one onion plant that produces, that goes to flower and produces seeds is going to give you a whole lot of seeds so it's totally worth doing so i hope you enjoyed this content um, if you if you like this like us on uh, facebook subscribe to the youtube channel and check out our podcast uh, maritimegardening.com all right so until next time get out there get at it and